Let's jump to the war here with part two of this Seleucid disaster campaign for Rome 2. Uh, the situation's improved slightly uh, for this campaign, and whilst I know that I can certainly solve it from this... I know that this, the campaign is saved, basically, from here. I'm not confident enough to send it back to the, to the player and them, you know, being able to continue it from there. The main thing on this is too many wars. That's the main problem. Honestly, if I wasn't at war with all these people, if, even if it was just half of these people, I'd send it back to him and be like, you're, you're cool now, you're good. You got Egypt, you got half of Libya, you'll be fine. You got your four armies, you're good. But the sheer number of enemies, it outweighs the quality of anything that we've got going on out here. Um, now, I wanted to address um, something in the comments it's not like not like a lot of people are asking about this but there's a few people and I don't, I don't really want to ignore anyone um, obviously I can't address everything but this is happening this is separate people asking the same thing and when this happens I don't I don't want to answer it in the comments because then I gotta answer everyone the same it's quicker to go through it in a video and that is uh, some people are asking about um, creating like a file share system where you know, whatever campaigns I do on this disaster campaign, I really create a link or whatever, so you guys can try your hand at that save file as well. And I was thinking about it, and I decided that that's not a good idea. Um, and I'll just explain why. Um, when I first thought about doing this, it was just supposed to be a quick transaction. The person has a disaster campaign, send it to me. I fix it, you or decide not to do it because it's not worth it, as in it's like they've got too many sentiments or whatever or the situation's not fucked enough. I do it, I spend about between one hour and five hours on it. I really don't want to spend any more than that amount of time on it. I mean, I will if it's totally fucked, but ideally one to five hours, which is why I don't want to do mods. Usually if someone's like only got one settlement left on say Europa Barbarorum, it's a 10 to 20 hour fix. Same with Dividea Tempera. I don't want 20, 10 to 20 hour fixes, you know. It's, you know, I'll do it if I absolutely have to, but like I said, the, the cutoff point was, you know, like no mods, uh, no modded campaigns. Anyway, I'm getting a little bit off topic. It's supposed to be a quick transaction. I get it, I solve it, or fail, and send it back, end a transaction. And if I'm creating a file, for, file share system, that extends the amount of work on each of these disaster campaigns by a lot. And it's just not something that I want to do. Uh, maybe later down the track if these save files start drying up but at a current count I currently have about 30 unread save files in my inbox um, and you know more are coming in every day I, I'm having I'm having trouble keeping up with them and so adding extra work on top of that I don't have time to do that basically now what I would recommend to you guys who want to play disaster campaigns go to the forum um, that's what I used to do when, you know, when, back when I was a small YouTuber. Um, Twitter Wall Center, I don't know what it's like there now because I don't go to the forums anymore. Um, I got a little bit tired of getting booed off stage sort of thing. Um, go to the forums, create a thread, request disaster campaigns, I'm sure you'll get some hits. You know, I'm happy to promote any threads on, on these videos for those disaster campaign threads. And those will be unique to you guys and whatever, that'll be good. It, that's if you want to do them yourselves you know because um, I can appreciate you guys want to try doing this because it is interesting to pick up other people's campaigns and try and save their ass um, and I think it, it's it's been good because it's been not particularly toxic is it not toxic at all really um, which has always been good because always there's been a bit of you know especially like if you compare it with a head to head head to heads are fucking toxic um, in the comments section I'm referring to but this has been nothing but um, positivity which is really great so yeah, that's what I would recommend for you guys to do who want to try, try your hands at disaster campaigns. Go to the forums, create a thread, do it that way. I'll I'll happy to help promote it, but I don't want to have I don't want to. It's like it's got to do with privacy as well. I just I don't want to create extra steps with this. It's like it's it's. I've got I've just got too much backlog as it is. Hope you guys understand. Maybe things will change later on, but let's just leave it as it is for now. All right. On to the campaign. What are we doing? We need to get rid of these rebels. So I was thinking about these Athenians, right? And I might let them take this settlement. Because 
Like, I can't attack them, and they they sort of know that they can't attack me. That seems to be the, the general gist of the situation. So what we'll do here is we'll recruit some more troops into this one. So you can get back from there. You recruit a few more as well. I'll bring you back over here. Let them capture it. And then while they're here, we send these guys back to kill them. So it's a trap. And we'll see how that goes. Alright, still got some money. I want you to come down here. Playing a little bit defensive as we build up our province. At the end of this, we'll have nearly four full stacks. That's pretty damn good. Politics are under control. Already checked on that. All right, so let's see what happens here. Oh, they didn't bring in the other army. Well, the order resolves in our favor, so I should just say we do that. Maybe they'll bring in the next army right after this. Come on, hurry up. That rating's probably costing me a fair bit. Alright, they didn't go after it this time, but you can see they're, they're like, Ooh, look, undefended settlement, mine. Yes, that's it. Go for it. And hopefully, once that happens, maybe we won't see Athens for a little while, which would be good. Local bandits, uh, refuse. Someone died. Oh well, that happens. So start moving from elephants over to shield bearers. Shield bearers perform way better in order resolve. Yeah, so the guy died. Okay, we can adopt a new noble here. Yep, yeah, you do it. Cool. Yep, that's all, that all worked out quite nicely, I think. Right, so they're eyeing that down. Cool, let them take it. Just back and forth, back and forth over here. I don't like that. Could let them take this, but we're building it up. Been wondering if I should disband the Median cavalry as well. All right, so this, they've still left this army here. All right, you come here, and you come here, and then kill him. Good, He's dead. And some more money. If I hit him, he'll just withdraw, so that's kind of pointless, and I'll be too close to this army. Just fall back. Get some replenishment. Um, I'm sure some OCD people have been like, upgrade your units! Look, money's tight, and we just don't need to. So, don't bother. Like, the difference between an upgrade unit and a non-upgrade unit, like, the, it's pennies. It's not worth it. Commander. Like, if I was rich, Absolutely. But if you're poor, don't upgrade your units. Because it's not like it's free. It's not free at all. And I, I, th I, actually get, I actually get a little bit OCD when I see people being like, oh, I can't believe that person didn't upgrade their units. And be like, well, they didn't need to. 
upgrade units doesn't necessarily make it a strategic, a good strategic choice. What I'm trying to say is keep your personal preference problems out of my face, okay? If I was sitting here with like 400 grand in the bank and wasn't upgrading my units, okay, yeah, sure, I should upgrade the units. But this is not the case. Uh, yeah, I need the public order, and that also provides wealth from all sources. Public order here is good. If we can get that much better, we can get more more t uh, better taxes out of it. Got to keep the taxes nice and high, otherwise I, I can't afford them. So they're getting ready to attack this region. Okay. A little bit damaged, but it's okay. Alright, let's move on. Like I said, it'd be good just to get rid of these Athenians. Alright, they took the bait. I was kind of hoping their army would have launched the attack, so they're sitting in here. Actually, no, I don't need them to do that, because I can get the uh, my fleet to take out... Oh, okay, well, there you go. Actually, no, yeah, I guess that's good, because that way the fleet can't escape. Because that was the problem, I just didn't have any means to get the fleet. Oh, they're just playing, we're just playing silly buggers out here. Ooh, and he just makes it. But he does make it. If I went and attacked that with what we've got here, we won't win. I need to send you in to help. No one's likely to reach Memphis this turn. Money-wise, we're okay. Let's probably just push him aside. Or not. It's probably best-case scenario, actually. Get two battle battles out of it. Two armies there. Get this guy. Get him back to. Actually, why don't you come over here and assist as well? Uh, no, actually, because you're a different family member. Um, yeah, you come back to Alexandria. And he should be able to make it back to the other region. We'll switch him around later. Cool, that's how we get him. Good. That all worked out nicely. So, Sargashia. Let's see about getting a peace treaty with them with the money that we got, because they're just annoying me. Like, we don't even share a border Before with them. How do they have a fleet? Know that I have an amulet against the evil eye. Dark sorcery will gain you naught. Good. Knocking one person out of the war? That's a... That's a big deal. Okay, we need to do a little bit more Peace than that. Peace or war? Is war until you are dead? A mature and sensible cause? Good. Now go away and never bother us again. We don't share a border with them. Fuck off. Oh, no, their transport's not a fleet. Okay, cool. So, okay, there'll be a revolt. <laughs> Great. What if we exempted it from taxation just for a turn? Well, if... If the revolt happens down here, that'll be a big problem, because there's not... No, we should be fine. Let the revolt happen. It'll give this guy some more experience. I 
I think I'll save up my money a bit more because we'll get more public order, sorry, more uh, money out of upgrading that because it's double, whereas this is only a little bit extra. I could have caught him. Oh, wait, did I just move? Yeah, no, no, I couldn't catch him. Yeah, he's just annoying me. Alright, so looking in the politics side of things, everything's looking pretty good. If we hire a politician, what are we doing? Nah, just leave him be. Alright, moving on. Cool, what happened here? Interesting. They're falling back. Do they have other enemies they need to fight? Uh, you trade Athens for Sparta. This is why you shouldn't have this many enemies. So, I mean, this this campaign did not go well for this guy, obviously. But you know, it's a, it's a learning curve, and this is definitely something that, that the Seleucid Empire is prone to. My recommendation for people playing with with campaigns that you start off with lots of vassals: start removing your vassals right away, one at a time. Cancel their vassalship. Wait for the keep your reliability high. Cancel the vassalship. Wait for the peace treaty to run out. Then attack them, absorb them. That way. On higher difficulty ratings, on a later Total War games, never have vassals. You're only asking for pain. They'll never back you up in battle, and they they'll be orders. they don't give you that much money really. It's not worth it. Okay, so we got we got two loads of transports, which means that they're going to be pretty easy to deal with. You come over here. It's they can't reach us anyway. If they get a little bit closer, we got them. We got good money coming through. I can actually afford another army with that. That's good. Yeah, another army would be great. Ah, that's a little bit of a concern. Alright, you come over here. And we'll raise another army. Just a crap stack. Oh, no, no, no. Just a crap stack will do. Find a way to catch this prick. It's so much easier in this campaign to have two crap stacks as opposed to one doom stack. Because maneuverability is really important. You can't split your army up, so you need to have, you know... I mean, this is stuff that I've explained many, many times over, and people be still still call it cheese or whatever, and it's whatever, it's, it's just, it's effective. Okay, I want to switch... Uh, hang on. How many armies have they got here? They got two. If I brought my guys close by here. Let me see. Oh no, let's see what's coming up ahead here. I need more armies. Given our current finances, I'd only be able to afford one more doom stack. Uh, do, sorry, one more crap stack. The more I develop these regions up, you know, a couple couple hundred extra. You know, that's, that's a few extra, a few extra desert infantry. Sorry, eastern infantry. Whatever, same shit really. No, 
Okay, good. And let's move on. Another thing as well, enemy agents are still reasonably annoying, like especially when you've got like 20 of them on your ass. If you've got five armies, or say four armies actually, moving around instead of, say four crap armies moving around instead of like one great army, one great army can get smashed by, by agents. Whereas if you've got four crap armies, most likely all the agents will just hit one of your armies, probably the best one, you know, but if they're all crap, what does it matter? And then the other three armies can actually move around and get stuff done. Would you just go home? Alright, so... They got a bit of a fleet there. Ah, damn it. Fourteen. Nine. These are not good at taking out enemy fleets. Not good at all. Yes. We could beat that and then make it back here. Or I could fight that and withdraw. Or... The ship cannot go there. Or... And here's the real kicker. We send two um, two things out here, right? Make haste, your orders. Oh, you fuckhole. It didn't let me select non-large battles. Shit. Withdraw him. You need to come back. It is an honor to serve. I can always force march it back. Attack! We've got to get rid of these guys. <sighs> Squeaky. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to finish this on this particular episode. I'm not sure. I may need one more episode. I mean, like I said, it's, it's not it's not a disaster anymore. It's just just not really going very well. All right, this isn't going to be too much of a problem. See, this is why uh, ballistas are better than the onagers. They can shoot for um, further. The range does make a big difference. Alright, start getting guys out of here. Shit, I should have gone off earlier. Alright, who are they chasing? Enemy general is dead. Cool, we got this now. See, this kind of fleet's really good at taking out transports, but it's awful at taking out fleets. Fleets would just destroy this. Sure, we'd be able to sink one or two of their ships, but that's it. They close in because their ships, uh, the fleets have like two to three times as much health, and they're much faster. They close in and just sink these guys. Just get into combat, and that's it. They're done. A little bit of damage, but obviously that was worth it for taking out a decent Spartan stack.
Now it needs to get back that way. This amount of wealth gained from it as well. Nice. Yeah, that fleet, not a good idea to take that on. Okay. Get back over here. I would really like to get a peace treaty with Sparta. Welcome. The day. You have my attention. Hmm. It's wondering as well. What if we set enough troops over? Uh, I really don't want to be fighting out here with the sea stuff as well. It's, let's make our way up this way first before I worry about. It's dangerous crossing the water. Ready for battle. Ready for orders. Given what's coming down this way, it might have to be fought manually. So I won't. I want you over here. You come over here. If we have to fight it manually, you'll be a much better at dealing with it. You come over here. These guys would be perfect for dealing with Spartan forces. These are Spartan hoplites. They've got a few pikemen, but our pikemen should be better. We've also got slingers in that army. Now, if both of these armies... I guess we'll see. Okay, I got eight units there, they got eight here. Ready for orders. Good. Gotcha, bitch. And we got him as well. Didn't wipe him out though, but that's still still good that we got him. Yeah, I need you to reduce those upkeep costs. Nice. Commander. Soldiering. It's a good life. And we're pretty good for food, so that's good. Grab that and this and yeah, best grab that. Gotta get that income up. Oh shit. Ah uh, shit. I didn't think about that. Uh, oh, I forgot. Well, they're gonna take me as hormos. I can't do anything about that now. And I'm not gonna be able to retake it back next turn. Okay, so cancel this. I fucked up there. All I saw was these guys here and I was just like, I went for it. Whoops. Alright, if I upgrade this. So to give us access to some better units, costing us only four extra food, right? Just go for it. Actually, no, no. I might be in the red if I do that next turn. Right, let's move on. I'd be very lucky if they didn't make the attack. I'm pretty sure they will. These guys here are making me nervous. Go home. Gotta fight this. Just trying to think how best to go about this situation, whether or not to use control large army or not. Could just hit that. Gives us a victory, I and mean, there's no one else coming here this turn. Easily replaced. Saves time as well. Yeah, like I said. Ugh, 
You see, if I was in range to take it back, this wouldn't be so bad, but I'm not in range to take it back. These guys are being real fucking annoying. Children were born. Yeah, unfortunately, we just can't quite make it back. Oh well. We'll see if he stays there over the end turn. I'm pretty sure he won't. Oh man, that's not good at all. Alright, don't spend any money this turn. We'll get the settlement back. Oh man, if they convert some stuff, I'm gonna be so pissed off. How much time have we got? They're gonna probably convert that. Um, They'll, they'll convert something. Alright, if you take this out here, at least we'll make some loot money. If we order resolve it, we run the risk of units getting killed. That's why I have to fight it manually. And also, if we order resolve it, we run the risk of them getting away. And if we don't order resolve it, we can guarantee every single one of them being sunk. So good. Make sure you prioritize their missile units. Yeah, it only takes two hits to knock them out. Transport ships are not durable. The enemy general is dead. Great today. The battle is turning in our favor. At least it'll pay for our, our expenses yes. uh, for this turn. Grow faster, you spawn of harpies. We hunger for battle. So yeah, you lost an a uh, slinger unit, and as I said, easily replaced. We need good fighters. I'd actually prefer it if you came back here. Okay, I can attack him, but he can't get me. That's, that's whatever. Reducing the upkeep costs on these ships would really help us out a lot. It's not a lot of money, but it adds up. Main reason I need that settlement back is for the edict. Extra 15% extra taxes goes a long way. 
But unfortunately, increased the instability in the area. That's it, run away. What's their fleet doing? I'm pretty sure it's... I don't think those transport ships. I really hope they're still there because I want to kill them. I think get off my fucking land. At your command. Yeah, he's still here because I want him to die. Besieging the settlement, ready for battle. Advance for death and honor. I think the other armies are too far away to assist. Good, no units were killed, although they took a lot of damage on that. Don't loot it. Yeah, they're too far away to get to us. Good. Good, and once we get the extra taxes in here, 17%. Yeah, because that gives tax harvesting edict um, a bit more. That's good. So that'll bring us in some extra cash. So we can certainly afford more of them. It'd be good if we need to make sure we don't lose it in future. But I feel like we're getting, we're getting to grips on it. Pricks. We hunger for battle. Hmm, I can actually make it there. I'm afraid we cannot. There's both armies. All right, you stand there. This might be the opportunity we've been looking for to push. Oh shit, it's gonna be a revolt. Uh, it's, it's always in Alexandria. It's, it's fine. At once. We hunger for battle. That'll be that'll be really good to get. Extra public order and extra tax rate and reduce corruption. What's our current corruption up to? Yeah, it's not a huge concern. Ready for battle. Reporting. Easy yeah, that was never going to do a huge amount. Right, so this province here is making a decent amount of food, so we can justify upgrading this. I don't think I need this anymore here. I think I'd much, build, much rather build the mines here to get more cash. I mean, it does also provide a little bit of garrison. Uh, money, garrison, I don't know. What are you going to do? I'm not going to be recruiting from here. Same with this. Switch that over to, to this to make more money. Alright, that seems good. Moving on. We might even be able to press the attack and head over to Jerusalem, although... Yeah, actually, we'll give it a shot. Just be, be cautious. If I can kill that guy for attempting to assassinate you. Oh, the... The rebels actually showed up at um, Diospolis. I just hope they don't make the attack. Well, there's only a few of them, so we've got time. You can see that they forced us to disband one of our units. Okay, we're not pressing the attack out there. God damn it. If it was just Armenia on its own, it wouldn't be a problem. If it was just Parthia on its own, it wouldn't be a problem. The problem is, it's so many enemies all at once. 
You're trying to do it. This is Total War campaign. I was, oh man, they're actually doing it. Well, I'm pretty confident that I can win this battle if I fight it manually. We absolutely cannot lose this. That would be sh that would be shit beyond belief. All right, so we, it's really four versus four because these two here don't count. I've got pikes. Uh, let's see here. So that counts for a lot. They've got light cavalry, Thurio spears, royal peltus, Nubian spears. Okay, I got slingers and eastern spears. Okay. You two just hang back because you're gonna do fucking nothing, and we'll just see how we go. The pikes are, are the main, our main advantage here, I think. Our general is under attack. Don't shoot our own men. These are of absolute no concern. Probably should be shooting the royal pelters more than anything. Royal Going. Getting a few kills, nothing major. Because they've done bloody nothing, so this is this is looking good. Yeah, yeah, bounce power. Battle is turning in our favor. Very much in our favor. And then they decide to attack the pikes head on. The friendly fire on this is nowhere near as bad as Total War Attila, which is always good. I suppose the other army will be able to finish the job from here. Yeah. River possible fight downhill. Yeah, unless you're playing on uh, patch one. In case you guys didn't know, that when the game first came out, high ground advantage was actually a disadvantage. Ready for battle. Oh man, the game when the first came out, what a shit show. I actually liked it when it first came out. And you know, I knew, I knew that they'd patch the bugs, but man, people, people do not like how buggy some games are when they first come out. Honestly, I, I sometimes enjoy the bugs. At your command. Yeah. You can't stay here, Aracusia. Okay, I'll give you one chance to surrender. Not surrender, but get just no no Be no war. I'll even pay if you. you. Come in peace. Be fearful if you come with false words, dripping with honeyed lies. You have the chance to save these men's lives and you just won't take it. Oh well. Uh, Takes some attrition going through the swamp though. We gotta get the fuck out of dodge here. Ah oh, shit. I don't think they can reach us from here. Yeah, yeah, if I can't reach them from there, there's no way they can Yeah, you'll be fine. Man, there's a lot of attrition. Oh, they're still taking more. Shit.
Oh well. Um, what are you gonna do? I think it'll be a few turns before they get into another fight. Okay, well this this would be good, but it takes 19 turns. I think I'll go with that. That takes three turns. Man, Sagasha, fucking go home. We could afford another army. Hmm. All right, let's do it. Because I really, the more troops I have, the more I could get out that way. Um, okay, I don't have any. Oh, okay, we can adopt another noble. That's good. Um, you can adopt her. Then she can get a promotion, and then she can get married. And then we have ourselves a new general. Toss up between getting, you know, the shield bearers and the silver shield infantry. I just decided to go for the uh, the shield bearers because we're going up against cavalry based armies. Alright, uh, if I upgrade this, there's more money come through. Well, we've got plenty of food, so that's okay. And a little bit of extra garrison, how much? Royal Peltists. That's pretty good, that'll, that'll really help defend the city. Okay, I'll go with that. Commander. Oh, if I had done that there, I could have made it out. Oh well. In the long run, it's not going to matter too much. I hope they didn't assassinate my guy there. Doesn't look like they did. Okay, the guy was wounded. Okay, we still got decent money. Afford a couple more of them. And you know, we still got more buildings coming in as well that'll increase our income further. These guys here are just going to do nothing. Which is perfectly fine by me. I really want to get down here. If I sent you by yourself, y you won't make it. Not while that fleet's here. You'll need another army as well. Can't justify sending him. He needs to stay here for the time being. Good. Saves a little bit of cash. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to send you down here to meet up with him. And you're both going to come down here and you're going to capture Ethiopia. Cool. And that'll give me enough money to raise another army. This is just whatever. Oh, 
Some good, and we're improving public order here, which will also increase taxes. Moving on. Okay, so he's already ready to take him on, I think, so let me just see here, replace him with, there we go. Oh, should I have really given him an elephant? I don't mind paying, ah, oh, it's too late now. He, it won't take that much to replenish. Uh, looks like most of that army's garbage. If they attack us here, I'm pretty sure auto resolve will yield victory for us. We hunger for battle. Nice. This is because we've got some decent units and they've got mostly cavalry, which suck in order resolve. Good. Two victories for it. Nice. Money for me. Death for them. Get your ass back down there. Good job. There's this other army here, and I certainly would like to fight it. And by fight, I mean kill it. I'm relying on both of these guys here when they get together. Good. Don't come back, dickwad. Ha, nice. There's mostly trash in their army as well. So, easy order resolve. Looks like, yeah, good, wipe them out. That best case scenario. He'll heal a fair bit by the next turn. Move over to the border, start making our way down, we'll capture Ethiopia. Uh, they got some transports coming down. Damn it, they've got like an endless supply of men. They all do. No matter how many of them you kill, they just keep coming. Right, they're not going to catch you. F well, there's no guarantee about that. Maybe just get to here. Ah, oh, fuck it. You're not going to get caught. Just come over here. I really doubt they've got any more troops out, out this way. You know, if these units here get killed, I'll probably just replace it with something better anyway. Your next command. We hunger. 
Set to finish the job. I reckon the cavalry got wiped out there. Yep. Cavalry to perform. Oh, what the fuck? It's actually good because you get another another battle. Reduce them upkeep costs. We hunger for battle. No one's going to attack you if you're fine. You're clear. Alright. So we can replace it with either some really good units, or we could just get some more um, thorax pikemen, I guess. Yeah, I'll go with that. It's cheaper. Actually, no, I think it's it's not actually cheap, but it perform better in order resolve. So this will reduce our upkeep costs, but I think we need replenishment and various other things there. Ready for orders. And because you actually beat that army there, could we now actually push forward? Public order's maintaining, which is good. Finances are also looking good. We could raise a whole nother army. Which I will do. Okay, is there any chance we could get another family member? Uh, we don't really need that. I can't see any other family members that we could use. Alright, I'll hire that then. Civil settlement doesn't have. Let me just see here. Farming settlements. It's got a bit more public order from that, and wealth from all sources. Yeah, I do usually. Uh, just uh, grass my straws there. Don't worry about it. Public order is pretty good, so we'll get the extra mining. All right, let's move on. Go away. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. I'm tired of enemy agents always succeeding. I hope that's an army, not a fleet. Because if it's an army, it's basically free money. Good, I'm glad that they sailed back. Oh, okay, at least he was just wounded. So it's not so bad. Money's looking nice. Alright, I need you over here. I gotta I gotta see what's up this way. Okay. Anything else? No, that's that's okay. Okay, if you stand here. I think we can make it to Jerusalem next turn. Transports, okay. You know what, I might actually have you trail them right behind them, because they might need reinforcements. This is 50% garbage. So a little bit of garbage might come a long way. 
We stay here, defend this. Defend this coast. Right, we have pretty much recovered here. That's good. Well, this one didn't fully recover. That's okay. It should be enough. 12, 15... I mean, they can't pursue us, so we can just go and have a look, and if it doesn't work, no harm done. Apart from wasting our time. Yeah, we'll be able to get there next turn. But if we do get there, then we can crush their fleet. Alright, looking good. Let's move on. Stop it. Okay, he was just wounded as well, and the other guy is back. Don't give him elephants, give him these. Alright, so they they backed off from that, but now there's these transports here. I'm still pretty sure the two of these armies can beat both of these guys, considering that's a fleet. And I know there's a lot of garbage in that as well. And if they fail... Well, you know... Okay, we lost 10% of our forces there. That's barely anything. At your command. Commander. Advance. Commander. I don't think he'll have the guts to try it. We hunger Ready for battle. battle. So that just provides... Okay, 210 money, no food cost. That provides more money, but costs food. We've got plenty of food. Three units in garrison, one unit in garrison. I might actually go with that. I see you. I see what you're trying to do there. Alright, let's do it. Alright, we're making some progress now. Moving for an invasion on two provinces. Ethiopia and Nabatea. Oh wait, what about the other army? Whoops. <laughs> Oh, shit. I wasn't paying enough attention. They could have got some experience as well. Now you can't be doing that. But there's no way he's going to catch you. You should not stay in the settlement just in case. If they do make the attack, we could always just like concede defeat and get these guys out of here. The settlement's nowhere near as important as my armies. Okay, get rid of this, don't need that. Have they got more armies down here? It's just these two is from what I can tell. Alright, since we've got so much money, let's raise another army. There's another garbage deck will do. Yep, take it out now before it becomes a problem. 
Let's see if we can get a peace treaty with him, because he's getting tired of dealing with this shit. I have no interest in fighting Sparta right now. Whilst we probably could have sent an invasion force to Greece, I don't know what's over there. Trust you guys to just shoot at whatever you think is best. Uh, actually, no, I won't. You should definitely prioritize. Oh, go to get them. That's how they're actually doing a really good job. Okay, good. So good. Come on, what are you waiting for? They're getting a bit close. Okay, good job. Come on, come on, come on, one more shot. Shit, come one on. Of our ships is being boarded. You missed it. Ah, oh, good. Just in time there. Alright, let's get the job done. Good. Got a bit of money out of it as well. I'll try these to invest in this province. If we upgrade this, it's a little bit of extra money. Things looking pretty good, I think. I haven't checked the politics stuff in a while, but it's only on very hard. And last time I checked, it was looking like there wasn't even going to be a problem anytime soon. Nothing much has changed. Come on, bloody get rid of their agents. Kinda glad they pissed off. Ready for orders. Commander. Yeah, they're just out of reach. You get them with the movement bug, obviously. But we're not gonna do that. Could hit Petra. Eight out of eight armies. I'm wondering actually if I should have recruited a better stack. Right, given our strength ranking, 
we might be able to get some peace treaties now. Be welcome, I suppose. Now speak as you will and try to be interesting. Mm, not paying them that much. Armenia, I have no further interest be in your territory. Welcome, I suppose. Now speak as you will and try to be interesting. Mm. Says we're stronger than them. Just wondering if we should not worry so much about Jerusalem and head more towards Tyros up here and take out their forces here. Maybe they won't send as many armies down this way. Maybe they still will. I don't know. Well, why don't we go and have a look at what's up this way? He'd get there by force march. They've got nothing. I mean, there's Petra right here, but there's also a lot of other things down this way. It might not be safe. I'm not really too concerned if they come back here and retake this, but I would very much like to get down here and take Mero. Yeah. If we could take Syria, that would be quite valuable. Alright, let's do that. switch two over to him March. that way we you you can battle. recruit to battle. Yeah. ah good by taking this I believe that has a global public order bonus right plus four cool yep now Ready you can battle. recruit Come good fight with us. take five turns We still get a garrison even with that. Okay, get rid of... Let's see, Royal Barracks. Does provide us with some garrison as well. And gives us access to... To some really good units. I'd say just leave it all. Just because it's got that... That uh, building not available to faction doesn't mean we can't make use out of it. Alright, let's see what Parthia does with that. Public order here is good, good. Okay, I think... I, I, I don't know, I really want to get like a peace treaty with Armenia before we, uh, before we end this campaign series. Around 13 minutes into this. Let's see what's this, Armenia. It's a fleet, yeah. That fleet's just sitting there. Alright, moving on. Five grand in. So now that we've got money, but no more no more like army slots, I think what we should do is take one of our armies and start replacing it with, with like good units. Probably best we do that in Syria, considering they're gonna have the worst of it to deal with. What the hell? What the hell? Where the hell? They must have been sabotaged or something. Fall back! Journey completed. Well, if that's all I have to worry about, then it's okay. We'll even still get to the uh, units recruited. What's Pokemon doing? Uh oh. Oh, no, 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 not necessarily. Oh. I mean, I've got pikes. But he's got some artillery. Controlling large force won't matter because two separate factions in on us here. Did we go in too far? Too fast? Alright, well, we have no choice. We have to just do the best we can with what we've got. At least we've got good units here. But that artillery is going to be a problem. I 
A big problem. I can't do anything about it either. Even at this point right here with that. Armenia not even on the battlefield. It says that we don't stand a chance against Pergamon. This is not good. I mean, yeah, the pikes will do well, but it's the artillery that I'm most concerned about, and I cannot do anything about it. Hmm. Okay, ways into the city. If we set up a defensive line here, the artillery may not be able to hit us too much. That artillery is going to get hundreds of kills on me. And there's nothing I can do about it. Yes. Mm, no. Alright, I have an idea. It's, it's only going to save us maybe a few casualties here and there. The most important thing is that the pikemen are in good shape. It is the most important thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to utilize the guys that are in bit bad shape. I'm kind of glad I got so many missile units. So you guys hold your ground there. All pikes. Pike formation. So these guys here. Do they have any cavalry? Yeah, they got heaps of cavalry. Okay. Because what I'm thinking, send these guys on a wild goose chase as much as possible. Maybe the artillery will bomb them instead of this here. And if we could just waste their ammunition, even just a little bit, it could be worth it. If they start targeting the general, we're in big trouble. It's going to be a difficult one to win, but let's just see how we go. If we are victorious and live, I will sacrifice to Zeus and Ares for their favor. Enemy reinforcements approaching. But we mortals must... But if they send their melee troops in to die, then that's just going to be great. Yeah, no, leave me alone. Can't dodge those shots. They're not. They're not aiming for us. Yeah, like I said, the artillery's An got us on this. Unit has perished. God damn it! That artillery is gonna fuck us up. Okay, we, we've got to get further back in here. It's it's really hurting us quite a lot. Armenia coming from over this side. The men are wavering. Try and get over there. Get rid of these, these ballistas. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with them. I have no cavalry. Men, flee At least we're doing battle. well there. They're probably taking this more casualties than, than we are. So there's that at least. Sling is on. How much ammo do we have? Twen uh, tw 38. That's actually pretty good. An entire unit has perished. their missile units. Okay, I want you guys to turn around, take out these these horse skirmishes. At least at least they have stopped. An entire unit has perished. 
Pikes at the ready. Okay, I think we're going to win this. Oh, hang on. Shots are coming in. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Pokemon's almost out. What's this here? Hoplites. Okay. Oh, they got pikes of their own. Yeah, they got some pikes of their own. Need some more backup over here because they're starting to break through. I need you lot to shoot into into this. Do the best you can, please. Orders, my lord. Ah, picked peltists. No wonder we're not doing very much damage. So Pergamon's armies are actually pretty damn good quality. Armenia's army is mostly garbage. Start moving in around them here. No, 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 no. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Need another one over here. We're we're losing it over here. Shit. Our general is under attack. Shit, I don't want to sacrifice the general. Pikes ready. At speed. Order. Fucking everyone allied against us on this. Build this guys. Withdraw. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Order back. At your service. Armored elephants. I don't want to send the elephants in yet. Like yeah, the regular pikes. Find your targets. I think we're gonna oh, lose. They've just they had too much, and they got some good quality units in here. There's not just not much I can do about it. Our units has gone berserk. Man, these elephants, fucking hell, man. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. The enemy general is dead. I mean, that's great and everything, but... Oh, hang on a second. Hang on, hang on. I'd always given up hope. But Pokemon's just about out. Come on, could you please come back under control? Okay, turn around now. There's not much like, I'm not gonna bloody kill my own general. Could you get back under control, please? You fucking idiot. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful. If it was just Pokemon, it wouldn't be a problem. We wiped out their army. More or less. Lovely, lovely. Just, yeah, just roll over our own men there. Good job.
Or at least before he dies. That's it. Go and go and kill off a whole bunch of Armenians. I'm not unhappy with how we did, I'm just unhappy with the fact that this battle even took place. I'll raise a better army. Because I've got the money for it now. This is a shameful display. He's still alive, he's still alive and kicking. But I Our men I'm, flee I'm the field now. of battle. This is a shameful display. Funny is that the remaining two armies next turn probably be able to retake this. This is a shameful display. Our general has fallen. <sighs> Real shame there. Oh yeah, we got like what are you doing out here? You I just concede the we've lost. Oh, I thought we were making so much progress. This is a bit of a setback. But like I said, those artillery, there was nothing I could do about them and they wrecked us hard. Even if I did have cavalry, they would have, I would have had to have waited until the enemy cavalry were dead. So that's really unfortunate there. Their sabotage worked. You know. Enemy agents, what are you gonna do? Oh, that was our king as well, apparently. Oh well, you know, these things happen. Now we have to avenge him. So like I said, these two guys here are in good enough shape that they should be able to take this back straight away. Let them power like kennel dogs. At your command. For glory and honor! Our path is blocked. To battle! I just wish it wasn't of a family member. Like, if he, if he was of the Indian party or whatever, I'd be like, eh, whatever. But he wasn't. He was of our party. Okay. At your command. Ready for battle. Damn, those elephants go berserk really early. Not very disciplined at all. Uh... I don't, I don't like that one. Oh, we've got another person we can adopt. Okay, this is good. Just gotta find someone who can actually make an adoption. This guy here needs more authority, I suppose. So, he'll need... It says here he needs... Two more authority than target zeal. Two authority when leading an army. He's leading an army. Okay, cool. At your command. I don't think they can make it down here. We need to recruit some. Oh, they demolished the good shit. Dickwads. No, I didn't do it. Let's try to get a peace treaty with Pergamon. You have my attention. Because their and army is actually really good. Well, for diplomacy is always boring when done badly. Nope, they won't do it. Fucking dickheads. What about Armenia? How many fucking Armenian armies have we killed so do far? Do not wander in like a desert beggar. Go away. If you have something to say, say it like a civilized. Nope, they just won't do it. They absolutely hate our guts. Don't stay in this other settlement. That way we can at least withdraw. The settlement's just not worth that much. We're just trying to get... Trying to make progress here. So Jerusalem might fall. And I just put... Uh, just whatever. Enemy transport's making their way here. But I really want Mero. So we get, look, if they take that back, whatever. Hmm. We only need one army to take it. I know that it's, 
a lot of their army is cavalry as well, so it's just not going to do that well. So you can stay there. Since they only need one army here, then we'll just do this one army. Good. We'll try and make this a money-making province, and then there's Axum down there. Oh, really disappointed that guy died. It's a good army too. I should be able to replace it pretty quickly though. So here's here's the thought: should we recruit a new army, or finish this one off? These guys here are they're going to need some relief force. We don't know what's lurking around out here. Alright, I'm going to recruit a new army. This is going to be a... a good stack. Oh yeah, we'll get another... another dynasty guy. I'm not going to get the elephants anymore. Okay, so actually get good units. Most of the units in that army were pikemen. I wonder if I should get Thorax Swordsman. Melee Defense 61, Melee Defense... Because they perform better in order resolve. Armor 83, Armor 77. Still four turns before that's done. Alright, we're going to go with Thorax. And Slingers. Start replacing the shit armies with good ones now. Now that we've actually got some finances together. Just want them to try and hold out as long as they can. Relief forces are coming to assist soon. Given the situation, I might actually disband those those crap stack armies to try and save the generals. Because it's going to be very difficult for me to get them out of there now. Maybe hit Palmyra first. Maybe. Oh, hang on, we could hit Jerusalem. They didn't send the other army to defend it. Actually, no, grab this first, only seven turns. And you should be free to get all the way down here without any resistance. Hmm, what should we build here? I probably use a bit more food. something here, just whatever. Ok, 
Okay, pretty sure the other army went over to Petra. Yeah, where did the hell did it go? It's somewhere. Yeah, I think I went went too deep with that. Let them retake it. Doesn't matter. You guys will be ready to move out soon. We've got decent coin coming through. We maybe get a piece. Uh, look, we're not going to get a piece. We're going to actually eliminate some factions. We're an hour and a half into this. I'll go for another half hour, and we'll see how we go. Like, I'm pretty confident I could hand it back to the guy, and he'd be like, oh, he might be able to handle this. I just got to give him some pointers. But if I go for another half hour, I think I could do just a bit, a bit more to help him out. Like, it's definitely not fucked anymore. Still got loads of enemies. Not a great situation. But it's not fucked. You got money. You got soldiers. The enemy's stupid. can manage. It's still a long way to go before you like there's a there's a tipping point. You'll reach a point where it just suddenly a, like a light switch turns on and you just realize, oh I've crushed them. Because their ability to re recruit armies is massively reduced and everyone starts asking for peace because the overall strength of your alliance, which you don't have an alliance, is stronger than theirs. And then they'll start begging for peace. Because the AI is very cowardly like that. Which makes the end game very easy with this, because as long as you're stronger than the enemy, you just pick them off one at a time, they'll just let you do it. So this guy here, M for Machos, what house are you in? Yeah, okay. Since we've got a new, uh, new family member, Switch him in. We take. Pass here. Good. Now there you go, Ethiopia under your control. I'll just tidy it up a little bit. That's looking good. Over here. Got a, you know, decent stack coming in. I won't get any cavalry because they just don't perform well in order resolve. And they just get they just get wiped out. Now, as I said, we've got money that we don't need crap stacks anymore, so this will be disbanded. And we'll recruit something good. If I take this. These two armies over here will wreck us. If I take the... Yeah, they're wrecked no matter what. Alright, well, how about this? We take the settlement and we just don't sit in it. Maybe I just loot it. Yeah, I'll loot it. And don't stay there. Commander, 
knock it down to one and a kit. With a decent garrison. Eh, maybe I'll leave it. It'll repair on its own. Good, you know, this is starting to come together. Okay, we can put an edict down here now. Uh, public order will sort itself out over time. So let's just uh, let's just go tax harvesting. We need the money. Money means soldiers. Better quality soldiers. So this army here could probably just be flat out disbanded. And he can be re-recruited up here. But in a, a more decent stack. So he'll be at full strength. Can we get new agents? Yeah, okay, cool. Another spy would come in handy. Our current spy is there. I could use another one up here, I think. And for our new, more expensive stack, you could use an agent. And over here, let's, uh, in this province here, get a hero, uh, champion for public order's sake. Alright, they didn't go for it. I guess that's good. I don't think I'll go down to Hegra, it's too too risky. Rival banquet, no, just uh, attend, whatever. Who died of natural causes? Eh, whatever. I don't really give a shit. Okay. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? The unit that he was recruiting got disbanded. Fucking hell. Alright, well. I got you at least. That was, that was really bloody unlucky. What the hell? The hell? No one's recruiting here. I've seen this bug before. What the fuck? Shit. Alright, well you're in good shape. You're ready to go. Alright, so um, no one's going to attack you from here. Get him up this way. He can't recruit till next turn, I think. And he, yeah, he comes in to reinforce them. You guys just try to stay out of reach for the time being. If it comes under attack, it comes under attack. Don't worry about it. So yeah, this army here should be disbent. What's this guy doing?
I think we should chase after him. Wherever he's going, kill him. I was going to disband him, but with this guy having landed here, that's a bit of a concern. Let's see about maybe getting a peace treaty with him. I am here, then. Speak your words, and be sure that I find... In time, two things... You are... Do not wander in like a desert beggar. If you have something to say, say it like a civil... Be welcome, I suppose. Now speak as you will, and try to be in No, nope. nobody wants peace. Can't do shit about it. Well, at least next turn we'll actually be able to get the uh, the silver shield swordsman. So they'll be um, they'll be even better. I guess they're just saving us for that. All right. There'll be a revolt here. Uh, come stand near Jerusalem. What a nuisance, which is piss off. Alright, so they're going for Petra, but this is kind of good. They take Petra, and then we take it off them, and that way we kill their army. Maybe they repair all that stuff as well. Everything's okay here. On the politics side of things. Uh, what happened to hell here? He won't make it to the battle. difference the second army makes. Cool, they repaired everything for us. How about that? So you stay here just for the time being, protect, protect this province, which it's going to revolt soon anyway. Uh, we could exempt it from taxation for a turn or two. Let's have a look at the problems here. Uh, provincial instability, that'll take eight turns. Slaves, because they recently looted. Uh, cultural differences, that's going to take some time to go away. Ok, 
Okay. If I did exempt it from taxation, it still will revolt, just... Not right away. How's the culture breakdown? It's rapidly increasing, so there's that. Oh yeah, I forgot about this guy here. He was supposed to attach to that army. Whoops. Okay, now we can recruit. So, we've now got access to Shil Silver Shield Pikemen and Silver Shield Swordsmen. Both of them cost the same. So, let's have a look at the armor value. 89 as opposed to 110. Wow. Health 65, 60. Melee defense 72, melee defense 45. In order to resolve, these guys will fight a lot better. And they will come with javelins. Of course, pa pikemen are more, are more of a defensive army. They're very good for defense. We've seen that. But we're on the attack here now. So get them. We can afford it. They're four times more expensive than these, but like I said, we can afford it now. There'll be another revolt, but that's okay. I think this is fixed. He could he could take over from here. He's got the he's got silver shield swordsman uh, coming through. What are they called again? Yeah, silver shield swordsman coming through. He's he's got the best troops he can ask for. He can get elephants, whatever he wants. He's got money in the bank. Maybe we'll just go just a tiny little bit longer, just to make sure. I mean, he's still got a fair bit of work ahead of him. Oh, I'll tell you what, what he doesn't have, artillery. Can make a, make a very big difference, and we've seen how much artillery can do, and that's I was under the hands of the AI, who are not particularly smart with it. So if they had half the brain, what they should have done was used up all their ammunition first before ever attacking. I wouldn't have been able to do anything about it. That's what I do. This is this is why those fucking agents actions suck now. If that was a slinger unit gone, no big deal. But if that was one of the uh, the, the uh, swordsmen, I can't replace that out here. Your people are wounded by this war. Anything to get out of some of these wars. As soon as you start getting out of these wars, other people it there's a snowballing effect. It goes both ways. You get into too many wars. Um, yeah, let me just see. I think I'll just... I mean, I could definitely win against this. Yeah, I'll just have to fight it. I don't know why it gave us such bad odds. Because their cavalry's not going to do shit. Oh, it doesn't matter. Just suck it up. Get on with it. So we got pikemen and yeah, okay. General, pikemen, form and relatively garbage us. units. Okay, and don't even worry about these; it's a waste of time. Our general is under attack. Oh shit. We are at your command. As you come on. You're ready. Find your targets. Pike infantry, ready. The men are wavering. At least they protected these guys long enough. Hello infantry at the ready. Hmm. 
Galatian swordsman. General! We await your orders! For great march! Dodge! I gotta get them to stop shooting. So we want them to wrap around the flank, around the back, so these guys here can keep shooting. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Hmm. Struggling a little bit with this. Bounce of power is definitely in our favor. But, you know, these are royal pelters. They're, they're quite good. And these Galatian swordsmen. Also quite good. That'll win us the battle. Ready, so I hope it will. The battle is turning in our favor. Okay, good. I'm constantly reminded of like, the Quarizmian campaign where I did one episode and saved it to some degree but at the same time it wasn't like victory is guaranteed there's still a long way to go much in the same way with this but this is this is still a better situation give it give it a few more turns and you've got a snowball effect coming in yeah don't worry about gravitas it's fine Like, look at the money that's coming through now. So we've got Imminent Rebellion down here. This is too vast an area to... Ah, oh, shit. Crap. Alright, there is something we can do, though. Ah, oh, they're all fucking... Oh, no, you're not a commander. I need you to organize games in Ethiopia. And that way we gain some public order. So, cultural differences going down. And it'll go down even further soon. I'd rather not deal with a revolt. It could happen in a really inconvenient area. I think one of the Thorax Swordsmen got wiped out. And we have absolutely no movement. He's just getting dogpiled by them now. Great. Yeah, see, Eastern Slingers can be replaced. If these guys coordinate their attack, that could be a big problem for us. We should be able to get down here. Losing Petra again doesn't matter. Let's get down here. I'd like to take these two regions away from these guys and then get a peace treaty with them if possible and that way we're just dealing with Parthia and uh, Armenia.
I think four will do. Well, mm, yeah, yeah, four will do. Okay, next time they'll be able to get moving. Could probably force march you. Yeah, I can get you to Jerusalem. Where you should be able to defend yourself against this crap. Well, and that'll stop a revolt as well. I don't think they'll be able to attack us from there anyway. Right, this guy here. Supposed to attach yourself. Actually, why don't you attach yourself over here? Because this is going to be much more expensive anyway. Alright, let's start wrapping this up. This, this campaign's not fucked anymore. Yeah, no, it's fine. Start wrapping this up. Get that army and the other two to come over here and hit them again. Just keep killing off all their armies. That's the way to do it. We're, we're with Bactria as well. Let's get these guys up in the sea. Alright, our finance is actually starting to go downhill, but that's because this region here is not being taxed. If we taxed it, yeah, it's still, it's still not under control yet. One more turn and we got some good public order building coming in. And you know, instability going down, slaves going down, cultural differences going down. Let's give it a bit longer. Also, isn't there like another woman that we can increase uh, rank on? Oh, she can get married. She must be at least 20 years old. Must have gravitas, okay. There's some new people over here that we can adopt. She was already ranked up. Yep, the other parties are fine. The more women in the party, the more public order we have. So if we have a look down here now, there we go, went up by one. It all adds up. Public order here is good. Public order here is it's okay. All right. Finally, he didn't get blasted by enemy agents. Ready for orders. Let them tower like okay, just him by himself is enough to win. But that's this is what these guys are here for. for oh, you're with Bactria as well. Come on. I'd upgrade this, but since we're not taxing it anyway, don't worry about it. Okay. 
How are we going here? Okay, you just need a few more. Good, then that'll be Doomstack. Be a fairly expensive army, costing around 4,000 in upkeep. Oh, with you attached, it'll cost a bit less. I don't think he needs to stay anymore. Come up over here, help them out. I swear, we're gonna go soon. I just, I feel like I can do more. Let me just see if I can get a peace treaty with them. In time, two things always smell: fish. And an invite. No. Can't do it. Even though our strength rating is way above them. What about what about some trade agreements? Like no one no one particularly likes us, but let me just see if it's you possible. Are welcome. No. They, it's because they see us as weak because we have too many enemies. The of Carthage. Never get into too many wars. I really can't stress it enough. It's one of the big mistakes I made when I first played this game. I just got into way too many wars. Grab that, no public order problems with it. But I learned from that mistake and then realized, hey, you know what? One war at a time works out just fine. Or, you know, two or three. And then by the end of the campaign, you can go to war with half the world. It's fine because you'll have your 16 armies and no one can touch you. You don't even want trade anymore after that because you're so filthy rich. Fine. But don't do that at the beginning. Unless you're doing it, this is total war campaign, which I don't recommend doing because it's not fun. I hope they didn't disband one of the units, but if it was, it should have just been, like, the crap units. Good, we got a bunch of people coming at of age, the assassination plots. Okay, cool. Yes. Okay, so we got alright. What I'm gonna do here? I am going to attack this. I'm going to sink both ships. both fleets, and I will consider this campaign unfucked at that point. Like I said, we have got huge numbers of armies now. He's got a decent amount of money. Just needs to fix his public order down in, in Ethiopia. The money through there will get him through the roof as long as it's stable, and then you just gotta, you just gotta keep fighting. Like I said, I'm not here to win the campaign for him. Um, enemy reinforcements should come from over there, so we might want to steer clear of that to begin with. This actually could be quite tricky. Oh, God damn it. Because I kind of have to sink that entire fleet before the other one even arrives. No, 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 bad. <sighs> Tired of it defaulting to that. It's just not as accurate. Sure, it does more damage, but accuracy is more important. Since you only need two shots to land, you don't need it to be on flame shot. Because you still need to hit two shots with it anyway. So, not, not hitting. What's the point of having extra damage if you can't hit your target? Now 
the big thing with this sort of battle is that these are small naval um, maps. You can very easily just run out of space trying to avoid their troops. That's why we've got to hurry up and sink them as quickly as possible. The more of them we sink, the more space we'll have to maneuver around. So far so good, this fleet over here is getting absolutely annihilated, well this, this army. It's transport ships. Not gonna have time to turn around, at least we're not with these guys here. Entire army's almost gone. Just a few more ships. Right. Good, good. Really well done on that. Okay. Come over here. Turn around. Get ready to start shooting. You guys move up this way. The enemy general is dead. Yeah, there's no way they'll get us now. They've missed their chance. The enemy general is dead. Yep, not a hope in hell. We got him. Just make sure they don't get it away. Two whole fleets dead. Not a. Oh, I was gonna say not a single casualty, but we took two. Still, that is a 2,500, 2,640 to 1 kill ratio. Nice. Sure, we can do a fair bit with that money. And I will classify this campaign as no longer fucked. So, we had six settlements to begin with. We now have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I've doubled the amount of territory. We had two armies to begin with. I now have eight. So I've quadrupled his armies. Don't forget some of his armies, which is terrible. Got more income coming through. I did increase the taxes, though. So if I brought it back down, that's, you know, not too bad. Considering, considering this region here isn't being taxed, if we did tax it... You know, it's the public order still good. In fact, let me just see if I did this. Yeah, it's still good. That's actually better that way. Oh, there's a revolt here. Let me just clean that up. Did this one here lose a unit? Yeah, he did. That's okay. Easily replaced. We only had one general in the family tree. Now we have what, like 15 or something? So, I'm going to classify this campaign as unfucked. He's still got a long way to go towards victory. It's not going to be an easy one. He's to be diligent, but he's not got imminent defeat. Anyway, that's the end of this one. So, uh, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next uh, disaster campaign. Fuckers.